Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Yeah. No! Whether you're constantly getting sacked, having trouble beating man coverage, or just want a more explosive offense. If you want to see the glitchiest routes in Madden 23, what? stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be showing you some of the glitchiest routes in Madden 23 to score instant one-play touchdowns against the most popular coverages being used online today like Man Cover 1 and Man Zero Blitz. And the best part is that they can all be found in one playbook, my Buffalo Bills Offensive eBook, which is my current favorite offense to use right now, and I plan on making a lot more videos about this offense in the coming weeks. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. This video is probably like the seventh part of my glitch route series that I've been doing all year long. So if you guys want to see more videos from this series, I will have links in the description as well as an on screen pop up at the end of the video. So stick around for that. The first play is from a rare formation called the Gun Y Off X Close that was first added to Madden last year and is only found in the Bills and Giants playbook. The play itself is called the Mesh Y Out and the route we're going to be focusing on is the wheel route. There are a lot of different wheel routes in Madden. This formation alone has several different kinds and you even have a wheel route adjustment in your hot route menu available on every play. But none of them do what this wheel route does to man coverage. To show you an example, I will first choose the scat play from the same formation. Then I will choose the overstorm brave from the nickel 2-4. I'm choosing this particular defense because it's one of the meta defenses in the game but also because this formation only has safeties and quarterbacks and coverage and I want to show that this route can beat the best man defenders on the field but it will work even easier if your running back is manned up with a slower linebacker in coverage. On this play the running back will be covered by a safety and you will see that the route doesn't get open unless I were to try to come back to the ball and make a contested catch. Even if I bring the safety down to the line of scrimmage pre-snap which you might think would make it easier to beat him deep he is still in the perfect position to make a play on the ball and knock it away. That's because the route allows the safety more time to turn around since he doesn't have to turn and run right away, which defenders don't do very well in Madden 23. Regular wheel routes from your hot route adjustments are an improvement since they are shorter, but they are still hit or miss and really only work if you have a speed advantage and can switch on and out sprint the defender once the ball is in the air. Now watch what happens when I choose the mesh Y out play. This may look like a wheel route, but if I audible to a wheel route from my hot routes menu, you will notice that it changes ever so slightly as it now takes a harder cut up field. We saw in the wheel route from the scat play that the computer covers routes with less dramatic cuts better as it takes its time to rotate and turn over a longer distance, which is probably why the computer has a hard time covering this particular route. If I go to the replay, you'll notice that the safety rack's very different as he shoots down almost like he is expecting the running back to run a different or shorter route. This program reaction is why this route works the way that it does, because the running back is already in a full sprint and the safety has lost all acceleration once he has to turn and try to run with the receiver. You can see the second he turns around, he is already behind. Even if I change to a different defense like cover one man where the man in coverage starts to play closer to him pre-snap, you'll notice that he still reacts the same way by closing the distance only to lose position once he has to turn around. Against man cover one, just make sure to streak the tight end to pull the safety back deep and since running backs can't be pressed, this play will work against either off-man coverage or man press and have the same success. This next play might be the best one as it beats both man and zone. The formation is the pistol open flex close and the play is the infamous RPO reflat wheel, which has been banned from being used in EA sponsored Madden tournaments recently as this has a very well-known glitch route in it that works against any man or zone. I already put out a full gameplay using this play as well as some run plays. So if you didn't see that, I'll have a link in the description, but I've also put out a full breakdown of this offense on my second channel, which I will have a link in the description for as well, as it is definitely one of my favorite offensive schemes to use in this playbook. The route on this play that I'm going to focus on is the motion route. So once again, make sure to have your best and fastest receiver in that spot. 
This route really gets open against any man or zone. You just have to watch for when he gets open. Against zone coverages like cover three and cover four, you typically have to throw the ball right away and just bullet and pass lead either down or away from the defenders. But against man coverage, you just have to watch the cornerback trailing in coverage. If he follows all the way across, you can still throw it to him as the trailing quarterback is typically behind when following across. But to make this play even better, sometimes the quarterback stops following halfway across the field altogether, leaving this receiver completely wide open and uncomfortable covered. The next play is also from the pistol open flex close and that play is called the PA pin deep as this is another play that instantly beats man defenses like cover zero. Every route here beats man coverage but the most consistent and explosive is the B route as the cornerback in coverage will bite on the outside move making for a very quick and easy throw once he breaks back inside for a catch and run opportunity. Just make sure to try to throw it into the break and then once again run away from the coverage and you should have easy one play touchdowns. Single back wing tight and the play itself is the PAFL stretch. Now this play is a man zero beater, so we're gonna use the Overstorm Braves. Can also have very similar success against cover one hole. So I'm just gonna block one of my tight ends on the right. You don't wanna block the Y route. I'll show you why. The Y route pulls whatever man cover cornerback is in the area. It's also a good check down, but if, that, if he's not running that route, and I'll show you this time, you'll notice that the man coverage guy in that area will essentially drop back and be a safety, which I don't want because I'm going to be attacking the receiver anyway. So you have to block somebody on the other side, the tight on the other side. doesn't really matter which one. The A route would probably make the most sense. All I'm going to do to get this X route open against Man Zero is put this route here on a smart route, which is going to be your RB, R1 button in your wide receiver hot routes menu. And you'll notice that it changes from this elongated route to this shorter route, which is much glitchier and gets open way better against man coverage. So all I really got to do, cancel my play action a little bit quicker so my running back can block for me. And then you can see how this guy out here really gets right over the top of the cover corner, although he kind of slowed down to catch that ball. You can see how the cornerback just stops, which is something that is not really gonna work out for your opponent. Like I said, he just stops and waits to get beat. This play is out of the normal Y off close and the play is called the escape. I'm gonna focus on the running back in this play, but I recently put out a full breakdown of this play as well as a gameplay video of me using this, as it is also a one play touchdown against any defense in the game. So if you guys wanna see that video, I have a full link in the description as well as a pop up on the end of the video. The route the running back is running looks like some sort of variation of a China route and it gets open against any defense at several points throughout the route. Against zone, you can throw it as soon as he turns up the field, kind of like you would a wheel route, and he will get open before your opponent even knows what happened. Against man, you can throw it when he turns back to the quarterback, kind of like a hook route, or you can wait until he runs the full route and turns outside, kind of like a zig route, making this one of the best routes in the game for an easy, always open check down. The next play is also from the same formation, and this play is called the double slant. This play can be a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses, but I'm going to focus on man zero first, as this play can be an instant one play touchdown simply by motioning across the B route to the opposite side of the field. And once the receiver breaks to the outside, it usually gets wide open for an easy one play touchdown. This video here is from a gameplay that I recently put out where I scored twice with this play. So if you want to see that gameplay, I will once again have a link in the description and at the end of the video. Against cover one, this will work the exact same way as cover one man and cover zero react the exact same way. You will just want to make sure that you put the tight end on a streak to pull the deep safety back. You will also want to lob pass and pass lead outside once the receiver turns the corner. So you can just click on and sprint underneath for easy catch and run big plays. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have more videos from my Glitch Route series popping up on screen as well as some gameplays of me using these against online opponents. So if you guys want to check them out, just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. I'm shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. We can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early 